So I wanted to break down and be command center for everyone. Um, so basically a little bit of an introduction. It's a story progression mod. Um, it also enables you to do just heaps of stuff, un unlimited stuff. Um, it's really good. I really recommend it. Um, you're able to manipulate so much more in the game, but you're also able to manipulate it to what you want as well. Um, so yes, it's a mod um, that has certain things already set in, but they have made it so that we as players are allowed to change it to suit us as well, which I think is a really nice touch. So basically, if you want to get into the MC command settings, um, you need a computer of some sort. So basically, you click on the computer, it will come up with a list, you have MC command center right there. It'll pop up with this main image here. Um, and that's your starting base for MC command center. So I'm going to go through MCC settings first. Um, I will do individual videos and break down each of these folders. Um, I feel like that's a better way to do it, um, especially if you're specifically looking for, say, something in MC Korea or uh, MC Population. You don't have to sit through a really, really long video um, and try and pinpoint where it is. You can just go back to my YouTube channel and click on which one you want. Right, so we'll go through the settings first. So this top one. All right, so we have auto save, relationship settings, notification console, menu settings, money settings, gameplay settings, set age span duration. So in your auto save, um, you can use auto save. Um, you've got all these options here. So you can play around with absolutely any of the settings, any of them. You can change them to suit you as you need. It's, it's relatively simple. Um, and you want to go back, you just go back. We'll have a look at relationship settings. So you've got your friendship decay percentage and obviously your romantic decay percentage. Um, so the default value for the friendship decay percentage is 100. Um, your minimum value is zero and your maximum value is 200. So zero being no decay at all um, and 200 obviously being a faster decay than normal. So if you want to keep friends um, but you really don't like putting in that much effort to try and keep your sims friends um, it's super easy just change it to zero and you won't have an issue or if you want a bit more of a challenge you set it to 200 again like I said it's totally up to you which is why it's such a fantastic mod um, being able to manipulate it to exactly how you want it so basically you just Get rid of it, type in the setting that you want, Oop, click OK, or set it back to default if you want to go through your default settings. It's the same for romantic decay percentage. Um, we'll have a look at relationship culling. So you can bypass your relationship culling. Currently it's set at EA relationship culling, which is the default value for the settings. Um, or you can have MC cleaner relationship culling. Um, so it follows EA's rules and delete relationships accordingly. Um, so obviously if you want to bypass, you bypass. Um, we'll just leave that. But yeah, basically so you can have a play around with that. Allow teen parenting. Um, this is a cool one. So if you have allowed teen pregnancy um, and you have the parenting um, app, then you can allow teen parenting. Mine's currently disabled. I actually don't have that app. Um, so that doesn't really affect me. 
Um, but yeah, so you can enable that or disable it, totally up to you. And flag to never break up. So if the value is greater than zero, then NPC relationships of Sims in a married or boyfriend slash girlfriend engaged status will be evaluated to, to determine if there is a chance they will break up. Zero is no chance, 100 is a very good chance. So if you want to make it a little bit more realistic, like mine's obviously set at zero at the moment, um, but if you want to make it a little bit more realistic, then obviously have a play around with those settings. Um, especially with households that you're not playing. Like I know I jump from household to household. I very rarely will stick with the one household. Um, so that would be really cool to have a play around with. Um, I feel like if you change that up a bit, it would be more realistic um, to the real world. So if we go back, we can go into the notification console menu setting. So this is basically where you'll find all your notification stuff. Um, so if you want to change any notifications at all, you just come into this screen here. Um, so if we have a look, you've got message logging, um, append to log file, show notifications, so show age up notifications and etc. If you don't want any of those enabled, just go in there and you can change. So NPC only, you're played only, related to active household. There's heaps of options that you can go through. Um, they're, they're usually all the same depending on where you're going. Um, phone texts. So you can get all texts, which is what I'm set up at. I know some people really hate the text messages, which is totally fine. It's totally valid. I can understand why people get annoyed. Um, so basically just click no texts. Um, you can just have festival texts. So if you do have um, city living, you will just get texts in regards to festivals that are occurring. Um, I like having all texts, so that's why it's set at that. Right, let's have a look at money settings. This is a really cool one. So this is where you'll find your child support and how to turn on auto bills, etc. Um, so if you go into child support, I've got mine set at all. Um, you can either have married only, unmarried only, or none. None is the default setting. Um, I like the idea of child support. Um, again, I think it brings in a more realistic aspect into the game which is really cool you can change the percentage of how much gets paid in this one here child support percent um so i have it set at 100 the minimum value is one and that is also the default value and the maximum value is 1000 so i thought i'd have a play around with 100 to see how it goes but obviously you know, you can put it up to a thousand and get the maximum amount of payments and go crazy with it. Next, you've got the change in bills percent. So if you want to increase or decrease the weekly bill amount, so if you want to make it um, higher or if you want to make it lower, um, you can actually have at minus 100, so negative 100, you will have no bills at all. Um, mine obviously is set at the default value. I really don't mind a lot of the default settings. Um, I think a lot of them don't necessarily need to be changed unless you want to change that specific setting. Um, the apartment bill percentage. So again, same situation as your bills. Negative 100 would be no bills, um, 100 would be double bills. So obviously if you've got the maximum value of 1,000, that's a crazy amount of bills, crazy amount. So if you want to be really evil and send your sims into complete and utter death really quickly, you can change these bill percentages. Next, we've got the auto pay bills. Mine's disabled. I don't like the idea of having auto pay bills. Um, I know some people are into it, which is obviously why it's there. 
Um, so if you don't want to have to worry about paying for bills, just click enable and every time you get a bill, it will just automatically come out of your SIM income, household income. Um, just a quick note too. It does say here, note, a game restart is required to change settings. Um, it will also come up in the corner here in this, as I, you should be able to see, it's the little orange box. Um, it will say that you need a game restart. So yes, a lot of the settings that you do change, you will need to restart the game to refresh those settings. Um, but yeah. So that's the money settings. Then we'll go down to the gameplay settings. Right. So we've got pause on zone. Um, pause the game each time a new zone is loaded. I actually kind of like that. That's cool. That is a that is a cool um, a cool option. Um, obviously, default value disabled. If that is something that really bugs you, um, I actually didn't realize how much that bugs me until I just came into this. Um, yeah, I really like that you can, I'm gonna enable that because I really like pausing each time a new zone is loaded. Um, so you know exactly where your sim is. I know a couple of times my game has lagged and they've gone off somewhere and I've got to now go find my sim. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Put away books fixed. Um, again, mine's enabled. I really hate it when um, they don't put their books away. It drives me nuts. Um, that is a default setting anyway. Um, but yeah, so you can disable that if you want to. I, I, I don't know why you would want to, um, but yeah. So game time speed. Um, so it's basically the number of real time milliseconds for every sim second. The default is 25. Um, less than that, so less than 25 makes days go faster. So one would be you're at like absolute fastest. Um, and if you go to the maximum value of a thousand, it makes your days go a lot slower. So mine's set at 25 at the moment, which is the default value. Um, I actually wouldn't mind making my day go slower. I find at the moment, um, I don't know if anybody else is having this issue, but just a simple task of even eating is taking like two sim hours, which is crazy. Um, and I just feel like I'm just constantly caring for them because it takes so long for them to do a simple action. And then I can't really like get that in depth with the game then. Um, so yeah, that, that would be a really cool one to play around with. Sim die on what? Um, so if enabled when sims are killed with the kill sim command, yes, there is a kill sim command with MZ command center. Very cool. Um, the Reaper will only show up if they are on the lot. Um, so if they're wandering the streets, they'll just turn into ghosts. Um, so if you disable that, then yeah. Um, skill difficulty adjustment. This is really, um, this is a really interesting one. So if you want a sim to develop a skill quicker, um, the more positive the value with a maximum of 10, obviously, um, the faster they will develop the skill. Um, and obviously vice versa for the negative value, it'll make it slower. So if you want more of a challenge, go negative. If you just want them to hurry up and skill up um, without using the skill up cheat of just automatically skilling them up, um, yeah, you can do it with that setting there. Um, adopt a neglected child. So I bet this has happened to everyone where they've neglected a child and they've been taken away. Well, this enables you, if you have it enabled, um, to adopt a child that's been neglected by an NPC household, um, rather than it being taken away by social services. I really like that. So again, I'll enable that one. 
um, maximum household size. So the default value is eight. Um, I do want to warn, be careful when going over eight. Um, people have had issues with CADs not functioning correctly. Um, I know a couple of people have had issues not being able to actually edit some members of the family in CADs. So if you do want to do that, just be mindful. Um, mine set at eight. I don't generally have big households, but I think that that would actually be really cool to do 25. Um, I might even make a video of that because I think that that would be really fun and interesting to see if I could actually survive with 25 household members. Might even throw some pets in there too. That could be interesting. And we have Noted Decay. So basically, you got your dog, cat, sim, and baby Noted Decay stats. So go in and obviously change the settings. Mine are all at 100. Um, but basically, if you go zero, that means no mode is decay. So if you want the perfect baby, definitely go zero. Definitely. Um, and obviously if you go to the maximum value of 200, that would mean double mode is decay. So if you want a real challenge, not too sure I'd be that keen on that. Um, but yeah, if you put it to a maximum of 200, that, that could be quite a challenge. Um, so yeah, and then obviously you've got your dog. It's the same setup for each one that you ch click on. You just go in and change it. Right. Lastly, in the MCCC settings, such a mouthful, um, we have the set age span duration. So you've got human, cat, and dog. And basically, it brings up the list um, of each of the different ages. So we click on baby, um, and it specifies the number of days in the selected age span. So you can definitely change that. Um, I like that you've got more of an option to actually change each individual age um, span instead of just, you know, either medium, low or high. Um, so you can really mess around with that and have like baby, like one day, toddlers, five, child, 20, um, adult, a thousand. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Also for dogs and cats, if you have the dogs and cats game pack, um, not everyone has a game pack. I know a lot of people weren't too keen on that pack. Um, but yeah, so that's your MC command center settings. Um, and I will go on to continue the next videos um, and give you guys more of an insight into what MC Command Center has to offer. Um, yeah, so thanks guys.